The numbers for December are in and are hot enough to melt away the snow. Stay tuned and find out more. Hey guys, Vinay here with Remax Realtron and TorontoRealEstateGenius.com. Welcome to another edition of the Genius Market Report, where we'll be summarizing the Toronto Real Estate Board sales figures from the last month of 2020. As usual, let's start by looking at the sales in December and compare them year over year. In December, sales were up just over 64.5% over last year. We had 7,180 sales compared to last year's 4,364 sales. In December, we had 5,865 new listings, which is up year over year 66% from December of 2019, where we only had 3,530 new listings. The average selling price in December of 2020 for all home types was 932,222, and that's up about 11.2% from 838,664 in December of 2019. Let's have a look at the months of inventory, see how we're doing. We get the months of inventory by dividing the sales into the active listings. It's important to remember below four months, seller's market, above six months, buyer's market, anywhere in between, a balanced market. Months of inventory in December was 1.09 months, which is insane. And it's down one from 1.6 months in November of 2020. Finally, we wanna look at our days on market. Our average days on market in December was 24 days, which is unchanged from November of 2020. Now here's a brief year in review for 2020. Despite all the difficulties 2020 brought us, no one expected the real estate market to be one of the strongest on record. Here are some highlights from 2020. In 2020, we had 95,151 sales reported on the TREBS MLS system, and that's up about 8.5% compared to 2019. This included a record result for the month of December. Your viewer sales growth was the strongest in the GTA region surrounding Toronto, particularly for the single family home type. The average selling price reached a new record of 929,699, and that's up about 13.5% compared to 2019. The strongest average price growth was experienced for single family home types in the suburban regions of the GTA. After a pronounced dip in the market, activity between mid-March and the end of May, market conditions improved dramatically in the second half of the year, with multiple consecutive months of record sales and average selling price. While the housing market as a whole recovered rapidly in 2020, there was a gap between the single-family segments and the condominium apartment segments. The supply of single-family homes remained absolutely low, resulting in stiff competition between buyers and double-digit price increases. The condo market looked quite different on the other hand. More choice for condo buyers led to more bargaining power and a year-over-year -year dip in the average condo selling prices during the last few months of the year. It looks like the gap in the condo market is closing quite fast, which is encouraging and starting to give buyers more confidence in that market. The next 12 months will be crucial on the path to recovery. The impact of the resumption in immigration and reopening of the economy will be key players in what rules the market. If you're thinking of selling, there has not been a better time. Want to chat more about real estate? Make sure you give me a call. Not ready yet? No problem. Let's have a virtual coffee and put together a plan so we can help you achieve your real estate goals. Thank you guys for tuning in to this month's Genius Market Report. Remember that now, more so than ever, who you work with makes all the difference. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Toronto Real Estate Genius. If you found this information useful, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your family and your friends. Till next time, ciao for now.